in some African countries, only 30% of the people are willing to take the vaccine. And where, so when the vaccine is coming, and uh, the same is in some Latin American countries. And so building that confidence um, requires, <clears throat> it requires much more listening than just talking. I think Dina Blackbinder make, makes this comment that some people are just not amenable to science-based information. Uh, we know that having somebody from your own race giving you that advice is much more effective than in the United States. Uh, African-American doctor is much more persuasive for a black citizen than a, than a white uh, physician. So there has to be that type of awareness raised in the last mile, first on vaccine confidence, but when vaccine is not available on how to prevent the infection. And this has to come from trusted sources. Any delay in the vaccination in these low-income countries is there's almost certainly going to be, for example, we now have uh, the South African variant, the 135 variant, its, its sensitivity to the antibodies one seventh that of the, the, the native uh, variant. Yes, it does prevent serious infection, but when, when you look at the 484 variant, it basically uh, is going to have much more resistance. And the, more, the longer we take, we are almost certainly going to develop new variants that are really not going to be these vaccines will not work at all and so this idea of uh, somehow uh, all of us getting together and overcoming these intellectual property barriers is critical